Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode one of Haven Cave Vlogs. Uh, I know I normally record this after uh, the episode or have been with the uh, previous series, but first episode, I'm going to do it this way. We're in a very neat uh, spawn area. So let's see here. This is so you have arrived the sun. Do not play with, if playing with cheats, do not still spawn stuff, okay? Welcome to Haven Cave Block. To get started, press L and name your cave. Kathy Nova is the creator of this pack, so, so you just know that. Kathy Nova, thank you for making this pack. Right, let's get started here. Oh, great new team. Uh, let's call this Mal Malcor's or uh, And let's see here. This is the Haven style starting area. The claustrophobic or the hard setting. We might go with that. We know the hourglass. Eh, no, no. The refurbished mine shaft kind of looks interesting. Or the haven stuff. We'll go claustrophobic. We'll start out, you know, completely basic. Harder the better. Okay, claustrophobic. They are not kidding. Uh, let's see if I can turn up the light levels real quick. Quality, dynamic lighting, the lighting, dynamic block lights. Uh, okay. Well, we've got us a tree here. Let's let's look here. Chronicles Shadow. It's the book. We've got a quest book here. We'll look at that. Just a second. Uh, click me. Ah, bed and a torch. So yeah, click this. Grab those. We'll select, of course, favorite color. Purple. And there we go. There we go. We got some light in here now. So looks like ultra minus in this pack, which is good. Oak saplings and oak logs, brand new to us. So, got to twerk some trees, get some trees. Let's look at some quests here. Getting wood. Uh, we'll, we'll, any random rewards like that, we'll look at at the end. Pebbles. Uh, you can crouch and right click dirt, grass to obtain pebble, pebbles once you have obtained some pebbles. You can press K by default to craft those pebbles. Okay, so we've got all of those lovely pebble stuff in here. So nice, nice. Uh, so let's see here if we can uh, do some that. It's my Malcor's massive cheaty way of getting large amounts of pebbles. The key binds will say uh, key is right button, which is the use place block. We'll click that, make it left shift. Now we can just do that and get as much of that as we want. Super fast, super easy. Our inventory will fill up really quickly. Got a good bit of that going here, so let's look at the next quest. The crafting table. That is simple enough. Get these same recipe like normal. And remember, change back that control key bind, and we'll say key 
which was now left, shift, reset, okay? okay so now we've got the tracking table, another one of those rewards. Uh, wants us to make a crook so we can break leaves a lot better. So we'll take, get sticks this way, yes, okay. Get sticks, set this here. We're still on day zero, so this is good. So far, so good. Okay. I'll remind those. We got us some silkworms, which is all good so far. All right, so next up, we've got all of that done. They want us to cook some silkworms. Not two yet. Uh, string, that's easy. We'll go over here to the market or Let's see here. We would like to get to some sieving in this pack. So get our stone, which uh, is press K right over top of the stack and it like completes them into stacks. So andersite, which is always a good thing to see, which means that this mod pack has create a campfire leather, a furnace, that should be easy, and the only reason why I'm not auto going to uh, complete any quests until later on is say something changes the way we want to do something so okay so cobble and andersite gives us andersite alloys i want to look in here uh cobble jet Okay, so we have the cobble gins in here, cobble for days, but okay, so we don't have the more advanced stuff, so. Cobble for days is in this pack. That is good. Stone barrels, which we could go and get all of this type of stuff. Summoning altar this early in the pack? Okay, well, it's actually a super cheap recipe. Um... However, Andersite Alloy leads to create, yep, here we go, create, create sifters, danks. I'm enjoying seeing all of this type of stuff. We'll get a chicken spawn, eh? So we'll hold on to that one. Wooden crucible, that'll help us get water. Um which will help us get clay, which we have botany pots in here. Okay, that is good. <clears throat> All right, so wants us to make a andesite uh, item. Andersite casing, we'll put that down, strip it. The andersite alloy that we got, we'll hit it with that. Now we can break this with the axe here, get it back. That completes that quest. And now the sifter. The sifter can be waterlogged. Uh, okay, so that's good to know. Uh, water wheels are in this pack. So we're going to need water here soon as well. But first the Cogwell 
cogwheel and a sifter. Sifter is a cogwheel, the andesite casing, cogwheel is a shaft. Okay, so I'm going to need to take two of those, make two of those, get this, get eight of these, this and this will make the cogwheel. The cogwheel, a shift sifter, how do you spell that? Well, Court is very bad at English sometimes. I, I put an H there. Okay, so we've got that set up. Um, we need two more planks. Now we got those, so we should be able to do this. Get this. Uh, I would like another cogwheel. And a hand crank. which is three planks and an andesite tower. Cheap enough, cheap enough to get andesite alloys. This is, uh, boom. Actually, we'll need this. This goes here, this goes here, and we got ourselves a hand. I see quest complete. Is there? Ah, oh, okay, okay. It's part of the create um, method uh, lines of stuff that we have to do. So, um, so yeah, create. Getting some great stuff done up here. I like that the, the quest book gives you what stuff does. Very few quest books have this type of stuff. Like, it is super easy and super useful. So let's see here. The quest, we're still under getting started because I want to do more on the getting started. Uh, we want a string mesh, so we're going to need to get string now. And so we'll, we're hopefully getting this to spawn us a tree. And I will put in some of these uh, worms here. They'll pro progressively infesting the leaves and after a little bit we will have the ability to croak these and get string. So it just takes a little bit for it to happen like right there we go. Good. Infesting the leaves, fantastic. We, we can get all of these infested leaves broken up. Get all of this string. Fantastic. There we, there we go. Um, so now with that done, we can take uh, some more planks it looked like to do something like this. 
give us and cubes. Spring meshes. Also, I would like to get a chest there. We'll set you in here for a split second. Just putting away this stuff. All right. So we've got that done. We did get the hand crank, which is some XP. Uh, some string meshes here. And now we will get us a hammer and go up a different pathway for a split second. I like two of these guys. Hammer should be as simple as that recipe right there. And we will grab, say, 16, er, 16 of those for right now. Just set up a small little area to smash. Get some gravel and let's go back over here and see what it's okay it's just a random reward sand uh, dust redstone barrel composter sorry composter will get us bone meal which might be useful here in a few seconds because I also want to go get this fired crucible so we can get our first cobble jet. So let's see here. Um, okay, so let's see here. I'm, I'm just trying to think to myself what I want to do real quick. I want to set this down. We haven't expanded the base yet. That might be something that we're going to have to do next episode. I'll have to look here in a bit about the time. All right, so we can toss this gravel onto there. And as we right click, it sieves it down which will process it into materials that we're going to need, like iron dust and mini coal. Not sure if iron dust immediately can be turned into iron ingots. We'll see once we get done here. If it can, that's going to save us a lot of hassle. And as you guys can see, our help or our hunger is going down quite rapidly because we're hand, hand cranking that stuff. All right, iron dust. Uh, use for it turns, all oh, four of them turns into an iron ingot. So we only have three, so we don't have a whole iron ingot yet. But we could also look at the next mesh, which is an andersite mesh. We take andersite alloys around the string mesh to get the andersite mesh. And then brass blocks around that to get the brass block or brass. <clears throat> okay. So, I want us to get a cobble gen relatively quickly. So, we're going to have to work a little bit on this pathway. Just a little bit. Uh, first, a wooden crucible. 
which we're going to need more wood for. And hopefully we can get some uh, apples. So we don't have that many apples. Oh, we, we're, we're in an ocean biome. I, that is not a good biome for mob spawning, so... Uh, I'm going to have to make another quilt here in a second. Get us a crook. See if we can get more apples. Really, we really definitely want more apples for the, for us, so. All right, there we go. Um, yeah, so far so good. So we're, we're, we're at a full health, uh, hunger bar, which is good. Now, oak crucible, we want the oak one. Because we have access to the stuff, so why not, right? Uh, we're going to need a slab. which is like so. Four logs that go like that, the sticks there and that there. So now we have an oak crucible. Uh, we're gonna take this oak crucible, put in some oak saplings into it. You see the solids right there, it says oak, saplings and we're getting water from it so that is useful so now stone hammer three by three power so let, let's look at that one real quick one two three four five six if this does what I think it will. We can take this and say, yeah, we can open up our base a bit. Stop being so claustrophobic in here. Um, there, we've opened it up a little bit more, but now we can uh, make some pathways and get some new new areas set up. So after the water, what's the next thing? A wooden bucket. Wooden bucket. So let's let's look here. Wooden bucket. Done. Okay, so now they want us to make a barrel. That's easy enough. Very easy to get a barrel. Barrels can be used to make dirt, so much stuff, water. We can also take a the sand and uh, or, or sand and turn it into dust and get it into clay. Another thing we're going to need is a composter. And 
seven of those to get a composter. I do know it's a quest after you get sand, so let's get sand real quick. And our gravel. Gravel to sand. Sand to dust. Okay. Get that completely full for water. To get us clay. Um, composter can be used to make bone meal. We're going to also need bone meal as well. So we can just take the extra uh, saplings here. And we get bone meal. Grass seeds. Grass seeds can be obtained by sitting dirt. Okay. So, yes, yes. We can get dirt here. We're not even halfway through the initial quest, the getting started quest line. Which I like. I like that we're not even that that far into it. But my goal is right here, the cobble gen before we call it. Just waiting on these saplings. So I'll be right back with these saplings are done melting. Actually, no, while they're melting, how about this? Go say five, getting our initial corridor here. So that's like what one, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, make a cobble pickaxe. I know it's like, why do you cobble pickaxe? That that is a valid question. Why do a cobble pickaxe when we can just go uh, one, two, and we'll say the room inside is be three bad, right? One, two, and three. And we'll go one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, and two, three. That would be five. Five, and make this into a seven by seven. Okay, so this will be one of our future rooms here relatively shortly. I, I want to make a lot more rooms. We'll, we'll set this guy down in the center here for right now, just to light that up. I'll, I'll raise the roof on that just a bit, probably between episodes. So I'll be right back once this is done. All right, we've got our first bucket of water ready. We'll take this out, put it in there. 
and we take this dust, turn it into clay, get the clay. Uh, we're going to need a second bucket of water here shortly and uh, some uh, leaves or, or, or oak saplings. Oh, can we do flint shears? Does this pack have flint shears in it? No. Uh, shears. Living rock shears. Yeah, it looks like the easiest shears we can get is ah uh, wooden shears. There we go. Wooden shears. So what we can do is take one of these trees, grow it real quick like that, grab some leaves here and toss them into the composter here. And get a good bit of the uh, one stuff. So let me take some time, get another thing of water, get and uh, get the amount of clay we're going to need for the next step. Or, er, actually, looking at the time, that is it for episode one. So we're just getting started here. Uh, I'm going to get some water prepped between episodes, some dirt, or er, some, some of this bone meal done up so we can get the fire crucible, so we can get closer to this cobble gen. That's one of the things I want to get us closer towards, uh, as well as a uh, actually, we can make this. I'll make this on stream so you guys can see this. We're going to make a water wheel so I can automate uh, this right here uh, we will want to go where's my axe I want to go say at least really I want to go two down at least. Oh wow, we, we can actually get ores down here? Okay, so there, there's going to be some mining in this. Oh, I was using the wrong stone hammer. Okay, that's, that's what it was. I uh, get a pickaxe. Hopefully that Stone pickaxe is the tier of pickaxe we're going to need for that. Oh, no. I don't want a higher tier of pickaxe. But that's fine. Uh, I want to set the water wheel like this. Once that water is done... Just set it on a corner here, placing that there and a cogwheel, and this will auto sieve for us. So just gonna take a little bit of time. Just trying to keep my hunger up 
and this this will also let me uh, sift some between episodes. So this water setup. So what I'm going to do between episodes is put a water block here and uh, get this turning. Um, while that's turning, processing stuff, I'm going to make some more water, get some more dirt done up for us. And uh, I will be back next episode. If you like this episode, go ahead, hit that like button. If you dislike this episode, hit the dislike button. Tell me why you disliked it down below. If you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button. Hit and uh, come back next episode, and I'll see you then. Later, Gators.